History is a bubble. His jokes are frank, fearless, and frighteningly funny. But not everything's a laughing matter for Kumar, Singapore's funniest comedian. In this clip, he talks about a spoiled generation and about people who expect him to be as funny in real life as he is on stage. Being such a recognizable face, when you walk around,、um, do do you get recognized often? And do people come up to you? Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. I get recognized all the time. Do you do you like、um, to be approached, or no, would you、um, rather be a private person? I'm actually a private person, so a lot of people actually think that I'm arrogant because I don't really. People expect. Like they think we are all everybody's a media artist. When you say hi, they're like, "Oh hi, how's your family? How's you? No, no, have a great day." I don't do that, you see, because that's just too plastic. For me, it's yeah, hi, hi. But people think that's arrogant. Just that I'm a private person. I'm not like very, you know. Unless I've had a bottle of vodka, then I'll be like an open house. It's different from us to see because like we see people on TV,、um, on the stage. You know, we think that they are like that in real life. But then, yes, yes, people expect me、know. to be like that. Like, people come up to me and say, "Hey, tell me a joke," and I'm like, "Do I look like a vending machine?" But for me, it's 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 the way people are. You see, and people have come, and a lot of people think they, they you know, when they see you on TV, they think they are you're one of them. So they come up to you and like really slap your back and say, "Hey, hey!" I'm like, <gasps> you know, and you know, your blood just goes up. But you know, this is all just. If you want to watch the fourth to the seventh Esplanade, eight pm and the three pm on Saturday and Sunday, it's only for certain days. Assistic outlet is there. Why we are doing a Raffles City because it is our sponsor. The other sponsor is Condom with aloe vera flavor, so that it doesn't burn. I am not joking. Don't worry, Rislo won't be there. Because she's the ambassador for condom, right? And they asked her why they use you. She said, "Because I virgin, but I know how to use a condom. Doesn't make sense. She's a virgin, but she know how to use a condom. So she used the condom to do what? Wash plate. How stupid, right?" Uh, we once mentioned that you think Singaporean kids are too sheltered, and you'd like them to be a bit more outspoken. How so? No, I, I, I don't want them to be outspoken. I, when, I, when I say sheltered, means I think they are all so pampered now, you know. Because, and parents are doing the biggest mistake by just giving them money and okay, I'm, I'm providing and I'm that. But they are, they are doing things. I've seen parents driving their children to zoo for mumbo jumbo, and that's I'm like. Wow, it does never happen my time. I mean, we cannot compare because now times are different. But you you encouraging your kids to go into the wrong way, you know. But although there are a lot of other ways of tackling it, you know, because now if you go for counselling as a parent, they will say your parenting style must change because you cannot do the same thing. Because every parent thinks now is like, oh, why my time different? Why now you cannot be like that? It's different, you see. So we all have to move with time. So I think children are very very, you know, because your parents are so busy making money because you have to make money. So they just give the kids money, and the kids join the wrong company, and then they, you know, a lot of things happening. You know, underage sex has gone up, and they really have got no respect for their own private part, which is so sad, you know, because sex has become now like, hey lah, nothing, just like changing clothes. So I think、um, ch- children are sheltered in that way, but otherwise they're very open to a lot of things. You know, the kids are very open; they know more than what we know. You know, even in bed. So I think parents should spend more time, you know. Don't and I and I I I, I was in the old folks home framing, and I felt so sad that people put their parents there, you know, because they all had this look on their face that they abandoned, you know. And I'm like they're waiting for time to go, you know. So it's so sad, and I, and I think because we are all working too hard. A lot of people say we have to work hard, but there are means of spending time, you know. That you must know how to manage it, lah.、Like. You cannot just work twelve, fifteen hours a day. It just doesn't work for me. Last year went for a wedding, Indian wedding. I don't understand why Indian wedding. The mother look more like the bride than the bride. And no, the sari blouse, fat. No, go window, window here. Some more fat. No more window. Stretch like sliding door. Like I'm telling you. And then the gold, the way they connect from the nose, they connect one chain here, chain connect, connect, connect. I think go home, pull one, get all. I tell you. Funny, right? And then you go to Chinese wedding, they take the money before go in. Yeah, at the table. We, can I even see the boredom? Door closed. Take money. Fifty, seventy, ang pao. You give fifty, they say, "Huh, fifty only ah." Table two ah, no shark fin. Huh, two hundred ah. Table ten, bring the whole shark buffet. The best Malay wedding, three dollar, four dollar, no problem. You give ten dollar, they open. You look, you look again. Hello, mana si minyak? Dua plate sini. Up next, more of Kumar and his thoughts on Singapore and Singaporeans.